Look what I got, y'all. New stencils. Um, these came from my favorite A Colorful Life designs. I got a bunch of new stencils, including this one, which is now invisible. Poor planning. What do I have? Okay. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> oh my gosh. How can you see this? Here, will it show up on this? Okay, kind of. <laughs> this is um, brand new, my brand new NeuroDoodle stencil called, what did we end up calling it? We struggled with the name for this silly thing. Uh, NeuroDoodle Dot Flower. Yeah, we just got super creative with that name. Um, anyway, this this is brand new. Coming out this month, March, new month, new stencils. That's how it works over at the Colorful Life Designs. They have like, you know, I don't know, a dozen or so new designs that she puts out every single month. This is one of them. So I got this along with just a bunch of others. These are not new ones, or not this month's, but these are from other months. And I just got a whole bunch of different ones to try that caught my eye. This one. I've already used and I'll show you how I'm using them. I've got a this is a travel brochure travel guide because you know I'm ordering these like crazy. This one's from Oklahoma. It was the I think it's Oklahoma fall foliage guide. Okay if you haven't got your Oklahoma travel guides they seriously have the best in the country anyway so you might as well go over there and get them. Make sure you request the fall foliage guide um, and if that's not available really anything will do. You can use a magazine, you can use a travel guide, you can use a brochure, you can use a, a catalog, a book, whatever but to do this you're just going to need something with fairly thick fairly uh, glossy coated pages. You know, this is not like woohoo, super thick, super high gloss, but um, you know, just something kind of sturdy with a coating on their pages to do what I'm gonna show you. On the cover, I thought, oh, we'll just do this kind of like, remember when we did the reverse collage in Birds and Blooms, where you just kind of pick out an image and then black out or you know color around it and isolate the one image. I thought let's do something like that except we'll use a stencil image instead. So that's what I did here and I've been using these these inexpensive gouache paints. Uh, like this. And I don't even know if this set's still available but I'll give you a link you know somewhere to something similar um, over there on Amazon. They have them pretty inexpensively. They're just those opaque gouache paints. And they're like a gel consistency. And then if you let them sit for like a year or two, <laughs> they dry out and crack. But then you just spray them with some water and they'll come right back to life. You know, I've just been doing this and yeah, they'll, they'll revive, it's fine. So I've been using those, and then I just used the design that was already on here, and the colors already on here, and just kind of colored over it in the background, and then put the stencil down, traced around it. I didn't color inside here, I just let the, that's just the actual image show through, and then just kind of did some doodly things. And I thought that's what we were going to do, because it's easy, it's fun. You know, why not? But then I just started messing around. I went back here and I remembered the video I watched um, not too long ago from one of the design team members of Red A Colorful Life Designs. They have a great design team and they have a group too that you can go and um, the design team posts all their ideas so you can get a lot of ideas. They're excellent, excellent card makers and the techniques and ideas that they show, you know, you can adapt that any way you want. They can make it more mixed media or whatever, but they really give you good ideas for how to use the stencils. So I was watching this gal, who I'm so sorry, I can't remember her name, but she has a video, and I'm gonna give you a link to that. 
and she did the you know the wipeout thing where you you have you put the stencil down on a background and then you wipe away to to I don't even know what you call that. <laughs> There's a name. It has slipped in my mind. But anyway, I really liked what she did. It was beautiful. She used one of my other NeuroDoodle stencils, if I remember right. And so I had her on my mind. Plus, I had the whole, you know, this on my mind. So I just kind of married the two a little bit. And um, blacked out the page. Laid the stencil down. And then um, rubbed away the the black that I didn't want, and then went back in and added some color and then some doodlies. And I think I really want white lines inside each one of these, but that's like a sit in front of the TV type project. So I'm gonna wait and probably do that tonight because it's really calling to me to do that. This is also a really good thing to do if you don't feel confident about your drawing or doodling skills use your stencils use your stencils y'all use your stencils <laughs> and not just because you know it, I mean it's easy to trace but because your hands will remember that it's that motion memory or whatever it's called you know you do it over and over again and then your hand will kind of remember what to do and you can learn yourself how to doodle some basic shapes so I did this. I liked this, but I had some issues with it. I was using this, one of these play color paint stick things. This I think is a tempera paint. And I did that and it worked okay, but I really had to rub to get it to come off. And um, because of that and, you know, the rubbing and the pressing down and the water, the stencil kind of stuck in places. And it wasn't any big deal. I peeled it up. A little bit of the paper came up. But then I just went in and, you know, filled in whatever came up. But that was a little bit irritating. So that's when I switched to the gouache. And I did this one with the gouache. Just did the... Put on the background. Laid down this stencil, which is called Big Splash 20154 is the number. Big splash. So I laid this one down like that, and then I did the, you know, wipe off thing. You can use a wet paper towel or sponge or whatever, and it worked beautifully. It worked a lot better than the other did. And then peeled it up and went in with, I'm just using a variety of paint pens. Not that. These, whatever you have, even a Sharpie. And going in and adding little interestingness in you know whatever way you want and then I kind of sprayed a little water on the outside here and dabbed at it so that it wasn't so stark see and I like using a magazine or a brochure because I like it when a little bit peeks through you can certainly do this on plain paper just a glossy coated plain paper but I really like to have a little bit of the magazine show through. And see on this one, this was like a plain index page. So it didn't have any color on it, just writing. And you can see through and see the writing. So it's almost like you collaged without collaging. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, okay. Let's do this. Um, I would like... To, oh yeah, I had one in mind. Look at this. Look at this color right here. This one, but I'm really thinking, I don't know if, I want to do this one, but I think it's going to be difficult because of, um, I need to kind of tape it down and it's got such a little edge. I don't know. I think that might be a little, will that be too ambitious? Should we do it anyway? I don't want to show you something difficult in a demonstration. Okay, Shannon. Let's do something kind of... Oh, I love that. Oh, this one. This one is very NeuroDoodle-ish. And it's called... Uh, I have to get it right up in my face. Three Circles. It's number 23111. Oh, yeah. Look at that. See, this one, this one will be fun to, um, 
to do the erase thing and then to go back and trace and fill. Yeah, we're going to do this. So first thing I do is I want a, a, a dark background. I mean, you don't have to, but whatever you know background you choose, that's going to be the outline of your stencil. So you want something that shows up. You know, whether you add color back in or not, um, you want your outline to show up. So that's why I'm choosing kind of, you know, black or I'm mixing this a little bit of black with this. I don't know what this is. It's probably like a maybe a Prussian blue. Isn't that the one that's like almost black? I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. I'm just doing it. So, yeah, let's do this. And I want kind of a good, you know, it doesn't have to completely black it out. But to begin with, I want it pretty dark because the what's left behind, you know, like I said, that's going to be the stencil outline. That's why these gouaches are good because they are opaque. Kind of like, I don't know, well, they remind me of, I don't, I don't know what they're made of, but to, in my mind, I think of them as like the love child of watercolor and acrylic. You know, if watercolors and acrylics made a baby, they would name it gouache. That's in my mind. That has nothing to do with actually how they're made or what they're made of, because I don't know. But uh, they do make a nice opaque covering, but it is that, you know, water activated. So if not like acrylics, once you dry the acrylics on here, yeah, they're on there for good. You can remove them with alcohol, but um, gouache, once they're dry, you can remove them with plain water. So let's, let's dry this. Next thing we want to do is put our stencil down. And then I've got some painter's tape here. I'm going to tape it. And if you peel the painter's tape up and it peels up some of your background paint, don't worry about it. See, I've got my brush sitting here. I'll just, I'll just fill it in. Plus, I, um, on some of these, I've kind of been removing some of the background paint so that the actual background shows through. And uh, you don't really have to tape it down, but I get a little wild with my rubbing so this is this is just safer for everyone okay there we go now you want to rub firmly but gently this is paper so you know you you take a wet paper towel or sponge or whatever you're going to use and wet it and rub on it eventually it's going to start to <laughs> disintegrate and you do not want to get to that point you just want a damp, uh, a damp whatever. You can use a soft cloth or, you know, I would, I've got, I use Viva paper towels and they're my favorite because they're so cloth-like. Yeah, so that's what I'm using. And I'm just going to dampen it. And if it, you get it too wet and a little bit seeps underneath the stencil, it, that's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry too much about any of that. But see this gouache, this comes off kind of nicely. And I'm not looking for perfection because, you know, mixed media. And you want to be careful if your stencil has little areas, little lines like this. Don't go crazy, and uh, you can kind of destroy your stencil if you catch one of those little lines and break it. Oh, I guess I should have paid closer attention to the design and moved it over here. You see, I caught this part. <laughs> okay, interestingness. <laughs> you can't see it once you paint it all dark. I think that's good. You can fuss around with it as much as you want, but yeah, this is good. Now, now you decide what you want to do. Do you want to just leave it like this? Because, I mean, it is kind of cool. Let's just look. Let's pull this off. Let's look at what we've got.
Oh, see? Look how fun that is! <laughs> now, it's, you know, it seeped through a little bit, so I want to wipe off the water and paint off of this part, because I may lay the stencil down again. There we go. And I see some little wet blobs, so I'm going to dry those. I really like doing this in a bound book like this because then it just, I mean, it becomes an instant art book. Or even just like a sampler book where you can just practice with different stencil techniques. Yeah, so I really like this. This is just the right size, and it's staple bound, so it lays flat when you open it. And, you know, I have a whole ton of travel brochures in there, but I've used this one specifically because it was staple bound and because it, the size of the pages fit these nicely. So there is that. It's like Oklahoma is just making their travel guides just for us to repurpose. I'm kind of convinced that's what they're doing. Okay, I love that. I think if I had <laughs> moved the stencil over and got it exactly on the design, which is what I wanted but failed to do, I might have just left it. But since I did not, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my stencil back down, just line it up as best I can with where it was before, and I'm going to tape it back down so that it doesn't scooch around on the page. And I'm going to use some of my, my gouaches here and kind of paint over these little, this rainbow area. Kind of, sort of. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just see what I end up doing. I don't know. It's, you know, it's all up in the air right now. Um, I'm going to start up here and I'm going to add some kind of yellow. So I'm going to dampen my brush. I don't know that I need that light light yellow maybe I'll mix it with this yeah I don't know these colors I just mix right here in the thing because I, I don't care it's it's fun they're cheap just do whatever If I was better with the sponge, I might sponge this in instead of brushing. But every time I try to sponge, uh, I'm not very good with it. Isn't that weird? I don't know. It's picking up some of the black from around the edges, and that's okay. We're just going to make this look kind of like we painted it. And then let's go in some orange, maybe this light orange. Can you see this light orange? And then we'll do it next. And this kind of has, you know, really specific lines, but we might make it a little more like a gradient. I don't know. That's what we'll do. A little more gradient-ish. And then go red, kind of a lighter. That red, or this one. Oh, they use too many reds. Why they gotta have so many reds? Let's just go ahead and do this one. We're going to pretend like those two strips are just one. Because we can. It's not in Roy G. Biv order, and it's just throwing me off. <laughs> so super messing with my chi. <laughs> I 
need a little, I need a sponge to kind of blend that, I think. This is just a dry sponge out of my package of, you know, dollar store sponges. I don't know what that looks like. Let's peel it up and see. It's hard to tell. Peeled up a little here. Like I said, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, oh hey, that turned out kind of cool. See that? I'm wiping off the back of my stencil. I probably should have laid that down on something because there was quite a bit of paint underneath there. Okay. And now I'm going to dry this. Now this is exactly how I did this one, except on this one, not that one, this one I used a sponge instead of a brush. On this one I used a brush, and see I got a lot of seeping underneath. So I think a sponge would be better. I really felt like I was awkward with it over here. But apparently I'm not as awkward with a sponge as I am with a brush. So yeah, what I thought was true for me is not. But what I can do now is make sure this is dry. Now what I can do is go back in with a pen and um, trace my lines, bring everything out again. You could look at the stencil and, you know, try to get this just right. Or you can wang it which is what I'm going to do. Close enough. So that brought the design back out. I think I really, I really kind of jacked that one up. <laughs> okay, that's all right. Um, so there we have it. And then from here, then it's just a matter of do what you want, decorate it. Leave it like it is, or add little something-somethings. If you want to um, pull some of the background out of the black, you can cover up your stencil design and then I just took a little water and you know dribbled it on there get rid of that and paper towel just kind of dab this a little bit. I'm just kind of doing the twisty dab twist. There. That way some of the back shows through. I'm upside down. Yeah. So the background shows through. We kind of sort of fixed this little issue over here. Made it not quite so weird. And then I can go in and use my paint pens. Really black, white, and gold. I think, you know, if you don't have paint pens or, you know, it's an expense you don't want to um, bother with, just get you a black, white, and gold. Some kind of black, white, and gold paint pen. You can do pretty much anything with those. And that's mostly what I use anyway, you know. Like when I did this one, I took a black Sharpie and went around each little design to kind of clean up the edges and I'm not feeling the need to do that one over here because I really kind of I'm loving the way this looks it needs to dry though it's wet and here's okay this is soothing to me too is to take a skinny white Posca or paint pen or whatever and then make lines are we dry yeah I think so 
go inside each little area and don't go right up against the edge. Don't even try to go right up against the edge. Just kind of make your own little lines like that. That's fun. It is for me anyway. I'm trying to do this <laughs> without getting my head right up in it. <laughs> Which is hard because you know I can't see and I don't think y'all want to sit here and just look at the back of my head while I do this so yeah doing the best I can don't judge that looks awesome just simple messy lines just using the stencil as a guide, doesn't have to be exact, and then using the colors on the page as a guide. So basically, this is just, you know, you don't really have to think. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but I super duper like it when I don't have to think. So there are some ideas for you. I hope that you will give these a try. As usual, you can go over to my Facebook group and post pictures of stuff that you try. It doesn't have to be my stuff that you try. You can try anybody's stuff and share your pictures and your thoughts there. And make sure you head over to A Colorful Life Designs. I have a discount code for you. They have a whole new um, selection of stencils for March. And then just go ahead and just look back on the previous months because, you know, there's going to be stuff that you want. Make sure you pick up my latest NeuroDoodle design because it is all kinds of awesome. And I think that's all I've got for today. The end.